what up Facebook just wanted to put this video together to hopefully show people how to install this script um, and just kind of walk through everything it does and, and how to use it so the first step um, and this is kind of assuming you're using Chrome because that's pretty much the only thing I tested on uh, we're going to install tamper monkey which is just a Chrome extension so we navigate over to uh, that link right this link here that you're seeing this readme is going to be in the Facebook post um, so I just went to this link right here for Tampa monkey we come in uh, we add it to Chrome um, once we add it um, at this point it's going to load a tab um, we it's it's there now so step two once installed go to this link to install the DJ City user script. So I'm going to navigate over to this link uh, and it's going to basically show the code and ask if I want to install it. So hit install. Um, at this point, we are uh, set up with the script. So we would log into DJ City and the first time you'll log in, you'll be prompted for your email address. So this is how we can store the information about. Um, the history, what you've downloaded, what you've played, what's in your crate, all of that stuff. So, uh, what that'll look like is 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 like this. So, um, I'm just putting anything in so that I can show you. But once you do that up here, this is where it's going to display that, and you have the ability to change it by clicking that. So, like high level, the I think one of the nice things about this script is it allows you to uh, click the individual uh, versions that are available. So, if for example, if you were to click this, that would download the instrumental, that would download the intro. Um, you also have the ability to download in bulk. So, the concept of having a crate um, where I'm adding all of these tracks to my crate at a later point I can go into my crate and I can download all those tracks so um, yeah I recommend uh, using the arrow keys which we'll talk about in just a minute um, as far as how to navigate with the arrow keys um, but it also it, it stores playback and download history um, so an example of that is going to be So you can see how it's read up there. It's loading the information to see if you've downloaded or played any of these tracks. But let's go ahead and play one of these tracks. And you'll notice now the tracks I'm playing after a certain allotment will turn gray. So that shows that they've been played. Now, if I want to go ahead and download one of those tracks, let's say I just want to pull the... Um, the uh, clean version. So now I'm downloading the clean version. This will show up here. Yeah, so the clean version. But now if we look at that track, it shows, so look, you've played it and you've downloaded it. So, you know, what happens if we refresh the page? So we come in and this sign at the top here where it's red is it's pulling that information in. So now it knows I've played these tracks and I've downloaded the ones that are red. Um, so that's one thing that's pretty cool um, because like you come into DJ City and you're like, well, when was the last time that I stopped downloading? Where did I stop? Um, it's also kind of nice because if you're looking back, if, if they've added tracks that weren't on a previous day, you're going to see those like sticking out. So that's one of the advantages of the history. The keyboard is, is pretty straightforward. So pretty much uh, left and right go back and forward to songs. If you hold either left or right, you're going to seek through the track. So like skip through it. Um, the down arrow downloads. So if you're playing a song or you have a song selected and you push down, it's going to download. Uh, it's going to automatically rate the track. It's going to download in this order. So um, if it doesn't have an intro and it has a dirty, it's going to grab that. If it just has a main, it's going to grab that. It's just going to go in that order. Um, there is an ability that I'll talk about later to download all of them. 
um, all the versions that that song has or that track has. Uh, the up key, it adds to the crate. So, and, and space bar is uh, play pause. These others, um, I, if it's kind of up to you whether you would want to worry about those, but they're just kind of there for people that don't want to use the mouse at all. Um, so the if I'm playing a song and I want to go back and forth, I just use the left and right arrow keys. Um, the up key will put it in my crate, and the down arrow will download that track. So just basically you're, you're kind of seamlessly able to go through without doing anything with the mouse and play songs, uh, seek by holding the right arrow and go back, the left arrow. Um, even when you get to the end of a page, it's going to automatically go to the next page and, and start playing. So that's uh, one thing, right? You can very quickly go through tracks and, you know, if you like it, add it to your crate or download it. Um, it's kind of up to you. Like one of the advantages of the crate is if you're like in an office or you're not on your laptop computer, like your DJ computer, you can add all your songs to a crate and download them later. Uh, that's what I kind of use it for. If I'm at work or something, I can still kind of hop in here on my lunch break. I don't really want to download those songs because I'll have to move them over, and that kind of helps with that. Um, yeah. So the next piece um, is going to be kind of the crate functionality, and I've kind of talked about that already. Um, um, and I've also talked about this version-based one-click, right? That's the whole being able to click these icons here so you don't have to navigate to the track's actual page. Um, one thing that is nice though, um, if you're playing a song and you push enter, that actually will open that page in the new tab. And one thing you may notice there, um, I didn't download or I didn't rate that track, but if I go to a page um, it automatically will submit the rating and essentially take you to the page where you have the ability to download. Um, so an example is if you watch quickly, this new tab will automatically rate the song. <clears throat> so yeah, we talked about the crate. Um, at this point, I don't have any... Actually, I think on the previous page I do, so let me go back just to make sure I'm showing you the right thing. So yeah, we can look and all that history. So there's these two songs in my crate. So you can get to your crate by either pushing the Q key um, or clicking the My DJ City link. So the only thing about the keys, if you're in an input box like this, it's not gonna trigger. So you have to be uh, just not in some sort of input box. But if you were to use either this link or the Q key, it's going to take you to your crate. So you'll notice this is the stock stuff from DJ City. This is the custom crate. Um, one thing I do want to touch on too are there's a settings area. So the settings right now are whether or not you want to download all versions when you download a, uh, a track either by using the down arrow or downloading all of them in your crate. Um, and then the skip into track, that's basically when you play a song, where does it start from? So I kind of prefer it starting somewhat in so that I can kind of see the meat of the song, but it's just a setting. But the reason I wanted to talk about those settings was if we set this to yes and we save it, um, and I do download all, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and clear out um, my downloads just so we can kind of see these download. But if I hit the download all, that's going to trigger all of those tracks to download and all of the versions to download. So you can kind of see there's a, like a scurry of activity. I have a pretty good internet connection, so they're going to download relatively quickly. Um, but yes, all the versions for each track are now downloaded and I would then come in and um, delete all, right? Because this clears that crate. So I've done with my session, I come in and I delete that and now next time I'm ready to go. And if I come back 
to the original page that I was on, you'll notice that those tracks that I downloaded um, are going to be recorded as being downloaded. So, yeah, I think that covers pretty much everything. Um, yeah, but basically, um, there's a lot of features I kind of went through, but like at a high level, it's just the ability to use the arrow keys and navigate through. Um, and then I, I think the crate functionality is pretty neat. And it also beats having to set all of the ratings and uh, pick the version. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, again, I'm going to put this link right here in the post for this video. So, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Um, but I think this is a pretty thorough guide as far as everything that it's going to do. Uh, if you have issues, same thing, reach out.